Three blocks A, B and C are connected by a light rigid horizontal rods. So we've got three blocks A, B, C connected by these rods here. The boxes are on a rough horizontal table, so there's going to be friction present. A force P is applied to A in the direction of B, A. The frictional force on A is 50 newtons, on B is 25 newtons, and on C is 20 newtons. The blocks are moving at a constant speed. A. By considering the blocks A, B and C are as one, draw a diagram to show the horizontal forces acting on the system, hence considering the equilibrium of the system, find P. We'll read the rest of the question as we go through the problem. Okay, so if you put in the uh, frictional forces onto the diagram, so here's our original diagram for A, it, so it's acting in the op against the direction of the of the force because the direction of movement will be this way, will be uh, fifty newtons, or B is twenty five newtons, and C is twenty newtons. So by considering blocks A, B, C uh, as one, draw the diagram showing all the horizontal forces acting on the system, hence considering the equilibrium of the system, because the thing's moving with a constant velocity, uh, find P. So if we combine A, B, C as one block, and we have our force here of P newtons, then we have our frictional forces. If we add them up, it'd be 20 plus 25 plus 50, which is going to be... 95 newtons. As the system is in equilibrium, we can say, so the system is at constant speed and therefore is in equilibrium, so there's no acceleration, so we're at constant speed. P minus 95 is equal to zero. These two must be cancel each other out, therefore P must be 95 newtons. That's only true because they're at constant speed and the system is in equilibrium. Okay, B, draw a diagram showing the horizontal forces on each block. So we've now got uh, the diagram for block A. We've got the force on of, applied to block A, which is P, which is 95 newtons. We've got a frictional force of 50 newtons. And now we have to introduce a tension. A tension, because uh, this is going to be the... Uh, tension of the coupling between A and B. So T1 is the tension coupling between A and B. Right, now we do uh, block B. So we're going to have that tension T1 coming out of this direction going this way. We're also going to have a frictional force of 25 newtons, but this will also have a, a coupling of T2, which is the tension coupling between B and C. And then for diagram for block C, we're going to have T2 coming out this way, and then just the friction, 20 newtons at the end. We've got no more coupling because there's no more blocks to add on. So by considering the equilibrium of block A, find the tension coupling between A and B. So we'll just draw block uh, A again, so just transfer that down here. So this is in equilibrium, the system's in equilibrium. So if the system is in equilibrium, we can say that P minus T1 and minus 50 has got to be equal to zero. And we're going to say it's true because it's in equilibrium, i.e. at constant velocity or constant speed. So 95, because we know that P is 95, minus T1 minus 50 is equal to zero. 95 minus 50 gives me 45 minus T1 is equal to 0. That gives me that T1 is equal to 45 newtons. Therefore, the tension of the coupling between A and B is 45 newtons. By considering the equilibrium on block C, find the tension of the coupling between B and C. So we're going to draw now block C. This just has T2 and 20 newtons uh, frictional force. Again, the system is in equilibrium. So it's in equilibrium. T2 minus 20 is going to be equal to zero. That gives that T2 is equal to 20 newtons. Therefore, the cup tension of the coupling between B and C is going to be 20 newtons. Then it just says, show that the forces on B are also in equilibrium. 
So if we draw the diagram for B, we had T1, T2 and 25. So if the system is in equilibrium, because uh, it's moving at constant speed, we can say that T1 minus T2 minus 25 is equal to zero. Well, we've got a value for T1, T1 was 45. We've got a value for T2, that's 20, minus 20, minus 25. So 45 minus 20, gives me 25, 25 minus 25 gives me zero, therefore the system is in the equilibrium for B as well. So the forces on B are also in equilibrium, which is what we expected. So this has been a video to show you how to find the coupling force uh, when three blocks which are connected are in equilibrium. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.